Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist will bore you to death. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will bore you to death. Narcissists are extremely boring. They will weary you through extremely dull talk and uninterest in action, to the point of distraction, frustration and irritation. They will make things so dull that you completely lose interest in the topic or event and you begin to feel exhausted and fatigued until finally they have made you unable or unwilling to continue because you're very tired and you're lacking energy and enthusiasm. So essentially, they have bored you to death. We often hear about narcissists being these puzzling and mysterious characters who possess an extraordinary ability to attract other people. But if you have been in a relationship with a narcissist, you will know that they are extremely boring. They may have bored you to the point where you were unable to think clearly, and it's because they are empty. They are devoid of any content or information which means that you will always be left dissatisfied without, any, without interaction or engagement with a narcissist. And yet, many people mistake this for chemistry or attraction, when there's actually nothing there for you to be attracted to. There isn't this magical other side to their personality, as they might like you to believe. What you received is what they had to give. There is nothing more. But this belief of there being something more is what keeps people holding on because they assume that since there's different sides to their personality then it must be the same thing for the narcissist when the reality is that they are always cold angry miserable and manipulative it's just that sometimes they are able to cover it with a mask where they're able to tell short and amusing stories and tell jokes and sometimes they may even seem to have their own opinions about certain topics. But once you've heard it a few times, you will begin to realize that that's all there is, and it will begin to get tiresome. Because all they can do is imitate other people's behavior, or memorize and repeat what other people have said. So there is no opportunity for deeper conversation. And you might as well be talking to an AI chatbot because it's essentially the same thing. And if you ask them questions or try to discover information that they don't want you to know, they will see it as invasive or threatening because they fear being wrong or for being exposed for only pretending to know what they're talking about. Even though at the time that you're asking them questions, you may not be aware of their fears. They will ignore your questions or they will see it as an attack, which kills any genuine conversation that you try to have with them. They will respond with hostility to interest because they see it as threatening. So the conversation will always go wrong and it leaves their unpleasant emotions to be the only interesting thing about them, which eventually becomes boring. Because even the positive emotions they have when they're love bombing you really have nothing to do with you. Their emotions are only about them. And when you realize that, you realize how empty and boring it really is. They only seem interesting sometimes because they're difficult to understand. And that's only because they don't have a strong sense of self. But it might make you feel like there's a puzzle to be solved. 
until you eventually realise that there is nothing to figure out. They're just emotionally unavailable. They have an inability to consistently connect with another person. So they cannot be receptive to you by showing their emotions. Because they're not even honest with themselves about their own thoughts, feelings, actions and intentions. So that is why you don't feel seen or heard. And it's what may compel you to get them to see you and hear you. And care about you and choose you. When it's really just a fantasy that was developed in their childhood. Where you are led to believe that if you sacrifice enough, work hard enough and struggle enough, then there will be a reward in the end. But there is no reward to the narcissist. What you've already seen is all that there is to them. It's all just an act to cover up their negative emotions and their arrested development. They're an emotional toddler pretending to be an adult. And it's something they fail to do well. So there's nothing exciting or mysterious about them at all. But many people find it difficult to believe that that's all that there is. They assume that there must be more to them. But they will waste years of their life trying to find that. When the reality is that what you see is what there is. So you're not missing out on anything. All they have is an act. They don't have anything to talk about. They don't have the childlike curiosity that we have. They're not good at conversations. They're not interested in other people. They're not really interested in anything outside of themselves. They just play the victim or they brag about their accomplishments or sometimes they're the hero. It's all just some superficial story with the narcissist as the star of it all. The narcissist will bore you to death because people need stimulation. They need connection and interaction. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's difficult to obtain. And the more time you spend with them, the worse it gets. Because after a certain amount of time, they will lose interest in you. And they will be more interested in their social media or video games which can be very damaging if you have children with them because narcissists are not interested in real or meaningful, meaningful interactions. It's actually very stressful for them. And anything you ask for them is too much, which is why they will cruelly shame and attack you until the point where you no longer want to interact with them anymore. And it may also make you not want to interact with other people because the shame may cause you to isolate yourself. So the narcissist may be your only source of in human interaction, which is very limited because narcissists are not interested in other people. So it's essentially the same thing as having a conversation with someone on television who cannot see or hear you. No matter what you say, their performance will continue which can be very frustrating and uninteresting. And even if you do manage to have a positive interaction with them, they can change from one moment to the next. So you will never feel like you're able to trust them, which will ruin any positive interaction you might have with them. And even when they're not arguing or fighting, they're quite comfortable with silence. So you could sit with them for hours and they won't even say a single word. Even if you're doing something together, which leaves you feeling ignored like you're an object. Because once they know they've got you and you're not going anywhere, they don't care about impressing you. And even if they wanted to impress you, they don't have much to offer anyway. They have a habit of making false promises. They might align with your desire for connection or a long-term partner. They may promise to do what you want and not to do what you hate. And they may promise to be better. And this may have been what lured you into the relationship, only for you to find that it doesn't even exist. Because a, a, a narcissist cannot offer you a real relationship. 
they don't have the mental and emotional faculties present to even make that a possibility. So all they can do is make you believe that it's coming while shaming and attacking you for wanting it. But either way, you will never get it because it doesn't exist. It never did and it never will. The truth is they have nothing to give you. They're just master manipulators. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effects. But that's how they get what they want. It's how they survive. So you may believe that they're just being mean or that they're withholding something from you. But this is actually a false belief. There may have been an implied or perceived appearance of something. But that doesn't mean that it actually exists in reality. This is why narcissists often depend on fantasies and gaslighting, where they cause you to experience delusions and hallucinations to make you doubt your thoughts, feelings and beliefs, when it's really nothing more than an illusion, which is enhanced by your own emotional starvation. Because when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're not getting your basic needs met. So you may seek out things to fill your emptiness, and you may continue to believe in the fantasy, even though there was never any real evidence that it exists. The truth is they don't have anything to offer. It's just that even they don't realize how limited they actually are. And they don't want a relationship anyway. Intimacy is threatening to a narcissist. And the idea of reciprocation makes them angry because they don't believe they should have to give anything. They expect you to give everything to them because they were spoiled as a child. They were given whatever they wanted. They were enabled and they were never disciplined or held accountable, which is why if you expect anything from them, they will throw a tantrum like a toddler and they will become very entitled because deep down, they know they don't have anything to give, which makes them very angry because in the basis of fairness and equality, if people must give to receive, then that means they can't get anything. So for them, it's unfair. And it makes them angry whenever they're required to do anything because they need us to function, which is why they use fantasies and gaslighting and they promise us something in the future. Because that's what keeps us around. And it's why they will never actually admit that it doesn't exist. Even though they're already aware of that. But instead, they will tell you it will happen. If you just keep doing what they want you to do. While they're shaming and criticizing you for wanting and expecting it and is insisting that they were going to give it to you. But it never becomes a reality. And they never reveal to you that it doesn't exist. They just continue pretending that it is attainable at some point in the future. Until eventually, they imply that it's no longer available to you personally. As though it just suddenly disappeared. When the reality is that it never existed, they never had anything to give, which is how they learn to become these magicians or illusionists. But it's only effective on people who are new to the situation because people tend to get tired of it really fast. And narcissists are aware of that, which is why they stop making the effort to do it because they never had anything to give to you and you're no longer satisfied with the idea that their promises are going to lead somewhere. So why would they waste any more effort on you when you've already learned the truth? Which is why when it seems like they've suddenly become the life of the party or the most helpful person in the room, recognize that it's all an act because you've already seen what they have to offer. The people they're performing for may not know that it's an act but you do, and that's why they no longer want to perform for you, because they already know it's not going to be effective.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.